Coming up at the Palace this weekend, a great show from Illusionist. Do you like to be referred to as Lee? No, just Leon. Leon yeah, Etienne. Leon. Yes. And he is the Illusionist from Utica, of all places. Utica, New York. How born did, and raised. How did you learn how to do magic in Utica? Like, where, where did it all start? Well, I was 12 years old. I got grounded by my mother for an undisclosed infraction. And, uh... <laughs> And I was bored, so I started reading a magic book that an aunt had gotten me for, for Christmas. And I learned a trick from it. I wanted to show somebody, so I left the room. Mm -hmm. And I said to my mom, just let me show you this trick. I showed it to her. She was entertained by it. And uh, the rest is history. She let me off grounding, and I thought that was the coolest thing uh, in the world. So. I think most... most Magicians start as kids. They're yes. just intrigued by it, and, yes. and they keep. What was it? Just was it a card trick? Uh, it trick? was a card trick. You take a, a card, you tear it into pieces, and then you would put it in an envelope, snap your fingers, and then the card came out restored. Well, that's pretty good for the first trick. It, it was pretty good. I was impressed uh, just to read the description of it, and then <laughs> to see the secret was yeah. even better. Now, uh, what's the difference between an illusionist and a magician? Uh, to tell you the truth and to be frank with you, there's no real difference. Um, it's just really in the minds of, of the public. Uh, Doug Henning back in the 70s mm -hmm. popularized the term illusionist, mm -hmm. and it's really one and the same. But people tend to think of an illusionist as bigger, uh, large-scale magic effects on stage, which is what I do. Um, and just it's more of just to kind of go with the public. Uh, so that? You've been traveling all over the world here. Oh, yeah, all over the Northeast uh, recently. And a few years back, I went to uh, the U.K. and performed in England, Wales, and Ireland. Wow. So, yeah. so are you still evolving and still pushing and trying to do, like, the next great trick? Always. Always practicing. If I'm not performing, I'm practicing. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's great resources out there, and I'm always studying either something to do with the stage, with theater, um, or magic. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see what what are you got to do for us today. Yeah, um, I've always wanted to learn how to draw well. Do either of you draw pretty uh, well? I, I, yeah. yeah, well, I, we, man. well nah. I've always wanted to. Okay. So I took an art class this past summer, and I'd like to show you okay. what I learned. I brought an art pad here with me mm -hmm. today, All right. and we'll try this. It's blank at the moment, but I have a magic marker. Okay. Okay. And there's a reason they call these things magic markers, because mm -hmm. they perform magic. I'll right. show you. Uh, I'll draw. You let me know what you think. Very good. Yeah. Circle. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. It was a oh, beginner's yeah. art class, okay. a beginner's art class, but it gets better. Ball. It's a ball. It's, it's a ball. ball. Right. Uh, it gets better. It gets better. All right. Oh, any looks ideas? Like a bowling ball. A bowling ball. Mm -hmm. So you see the art classes are paying off, mm -hmm. because yeah. you recognize the drawing. Yeah. Right. He's good. Yeah, he's good. Thank you. Here's like where it. it gets really interesting. Watch. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and just like that. Whoa! That that's is a real a ball. Solid I mean, a real bowling ball. You bowling could just ball. bowl a strike with this thing. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you how did you do that because everybody says that and you never tell us. Well, otherwise. we have a we have a standard <laughs> industry answer to that question. And uh, my finger stuck. Oh, is it? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ta -da. Make my um, finger disappear. Okay. So ask the question again. Say, hey, Leon, how'd hey, you do that? Leon, how'd you do that? Can you keep a secret? No. Well, I can. Okay. I can. <laughs> we'll try this. A classic right. in magic, a card you effect. You love the card trick. Uh, I love cards. Uh, yeah. You do. Yeah. Well, in this case, yeah, yeah. I want to be completely fair about this. Go ahead, pick out any card you want. All right. Beautiful. And you can turn it face up because it's okay if I see the card. All right. Because, frankly, I've seen this trick before. Take right. that marker, write your name on that card. You got the Jack of Clubs. You want to go across it? Or yeah, right across big okay. letters so you can't confuse that card with any other one. Right. Oh, yeah. All right. I'd know that signature anywhere. Anywhere, right? Yeah. So there's no question about that. Jack okay. of Clubs right. with the signature on it. With yes. the Rick signature. Yes. We'll take the card. We lose it back into the deck. Mm -hmm. And at this point, most magicians have to shuffle the cards. Oh, most of them do. But you're an illusionist. Well, I want to shuffle <laughs> the cards, but I want to do it a little differently. I want to be completely fair about this. So I've invented a way to shuffle cards without any trickery. Those are party balloons. They're clear. Pick out one of those balloons. Okay. Watch this. We take the balloon and blow it up. <laughs> then we let the air out. Okay. Now this does two things. One, uh, uh, the air refreshes me, and two, <laughs> a suction has been created okay. inside the balloon. So watch, on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Just like that. The cards are actually stuck inside the balloon. He's right. They are. Watch. Oh if that's gosh. true, which it is. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. That is neat. Yeah. We can blow up the balloon and shuffle the cards without, without controlling it at all. It's completely fair. 
And to find your card, I can reach through the wall of the balloon and pull out just one card and one card only. And that is indeed oh. your signed card with your signature on it. That, huh? That's good. for you to Look keep. At that. The balloon is for you to right keep. Here. Yeah, and we want to go. How'd you do How'd that? You Dad, you'll never know. <laughs> there you go. That. That's for you guys. That's, a little good. Good. That's our souvenir? <laughs> yes, indeed. That was great. Well, listen, we're giving away two pairs of tickets to see Leon at the Palace Theater. And if you are going to call, caller number nine gets two pairs of tickets. Eight and nine. Six, seven, one, nine, 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 zero. It's called The Art of Magic. Friday night at 7 o'clock at the Palace Theater in Eastwood, and you can buy tickets if you don't win them to see Leon. You're awesome. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you. Great job. All right.